thought Aiden, Aiden Finitary was really good again, just throwing a lot of strikes and, uh, you know, thought he set the tone. Might have been the first time all year we've had a one, two, three first inning, so we're uh, excited about that. Uh, and then Drew Burroughs just kind of took over in the first inning, two home runs in the first inning. That's pretty special. Uh, felt like Bichetti had another great day. John uh, Giesler I uh, thought had a really good day. So good to see us swinging the bats early. And uh, But story for me, just Aiden Finitary, outstanding. Could have won if it happened on the mound with strong strikes today. I think they had a 14 strikeout game with two walks. So that's, that's something you can preach and say, you know, could have, could have happened like that. Yeah, you know, I mean, that's it's been an emphasis is just putting the ball in the strike zone, trying to get swings. And, uh, you know, today we struck a bunch of guys out. And, so yeah, I, you know I think we're we're improving each and every day uh, in that area, and uh, good to see a couple you know different guys get touches out there today, uh, and then always happy when you can get you know guys that are sitting sitting on the bench get them some at bats. Uh, that that's going to pay off somewhere down the road. You had talked about how deep your your pitching staff was this year, and we continue to see that each day today. You know some more new faces and. Yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, Tate McKee, I thought he threw the ball really well. I mean, I, I don't know if he even threw 10 pitches in his inning, but uh, that was very good to see. And we're going to need him uh, in some games coming up here. And so it's kind of, you know, kind of made the decision to limit him to one inning, uh, knowing kind of what's coming down the road here. But, uh you know, it's good to see. I mean, they're going out, they're getting opportunities, and they're taking advantage of it. The, uh, the atmosphere on the mound, the Jones on the mound, that kind of a game. What kind of energy the other day? What are their status for tomorrow? I think you know Brown, Brown will be up. Jones probably not up tomorrow, uh, but but Brown ready to go. And, I, and what's the status of Younger and Pierce? Uh, younger just a little sore today. You know, it, it's probably a day to day thing. Uh, we don't think there's anything structural other than just a little bit of a shoulder strain, and we'll just each day see uh, see kind of how he feels. But he was he was definitely sore today. Five innings today, ninety six is one of the last times Pierce threw ninety six. Uh, that's a good question. I know I was close last time, and maybe five pitches short, but today definitely stretched it out a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I had a little trouble in the first, but second, third, on from there, was able to pick it up in the Texas zone. And what was the difference there today? Uh, I'd say definitely my fastball elevated. Um, I didn't throw my curveball today. Palm ball, the few times I threw it, was working well. Palm ball is a pitcher that you can rely so far this year. When did you start developing that pitcher? Uh, I mean, I've been throwing that since I was 10. It originally originated from my hand wasn't big enough to throw a circle change, so I was eventually supposed to close it and, you know, Started throwing it, but it was moving well, so I just kept throwing it. And I had trouble the past few years getting in the zone, but found it a little bit this year. Where, where do you think you've made the most improvement from last year to this year? Uh, I would just definitely say getting ahead on headers, and then when I am 2 just not leaving the ball over the plate. And, and of course, you've been in the program for a while now, so it might be good to have some team throwing against some of the guys. Yeah, definitely. No, definitely. I think the fielding's improved a lot. You know, every ball in the infield, if it is a double play ball, you're pretty confident they're going to turn it. Even just regular ground outs, you're, you know, I've never been more confident in the infield. I know uh, Ben talked about throwing to uh, Matthews, you know, as a big target. Is that something you want to do? No, definitely. Yeah, I love it. He's a really big target, easy to throw to. He's good, uh good camaraderie guy as well, so it's easy to throw to him.